everybody welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here today we are doing a cozy and realistic settlement build at somerville place as the general of the minutemen somerville place is a small farming settlement we start with two kids and a single dad we've already attracted two more which is why we're at five here uh, but as you can see we are right at the bottom of this map so we're right on the cusp of the glowing sea um, so we are going to want to make sure that we make a good clinic here for them but i also want to keep in mind that we have young kids here so i don't want to set this up as like a big trading post a place for everywhere to stop on their way past the glowing sea because we want to keep those kids protected and kind of low profile so we're going to try and balance those things in this build Preston, my associate, is here to help as always. I have our usual setup, uh, kind of already set up here. We have the recruitment beacon. We're attracting a dog and a cat and <laughs> these two sleeping bags uh, to keep people comfortable. As soon as I turned on the recruitment beacon, we got uh, two people already setting up here. So I'm gonna take it and we're gonna roll with it and we're gonna get started just by scrapping some stuff. There's a lot of trees here and I'm really excited about this one uh, cause I feel like I really thrive uh, when we can use the wood set and that foundation with like kind of the stilts is the wrong word. Um, but you, you know which one I'm talking about and it just kind of sits in these hilly landscapes so nicely. And so I'm really excited to build here. And we'll keep scrapping. I like that this is another settlement with kids too, because the last one we did with a uh, kid was Nordhagen Beach. And y'all did not love that I kept that settlement very tame uh, because there was a kid there. Uh, and a lot of you pointed out that that means that it's gonna be very boring for the adults. And I don't disagree. Uh, so I will try and make this one a little more balanced for both, keeping in mind that we do have two young children here who I have to assume at some point lost their mother because uh, there is only their dad here. Um, so I want to make sure that they're safe and they're secure and then also their dad and the other settlers have enough to make them feel fulfilled and comfortable and secure as well. And like I said, this uh, settlement location, it's very far south. It's right on the edge of the glowing sea, um, which I'm gonna assume means that some more radiation is coming in here than is normal. Uh, and so I wanna try and set up a pediatrician's office, a really well-rounded clinic here, so that they can treat any radiation exposure that they may get. We can keep cleaning up these tree clusters. I like playing with uh, God Mode On for these builds, which I have said before, it's just a PC cheat uh, that gives you unlimited resources. But usually, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, that happened fast. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And then we'll get back to scrapping. I'm deeply sorry about this. We should get some defense set up. I guess the turrets I popped down didn't didn't do much for us. Okay. Sometimes I love that, but sometimes the pauses between are just so. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that all? taken care of yes it is okay we're just gonna keep going <laughs> then. like I was saying usually when I'm just playing this game when I do a new playthrough I do not use god mode um, and something that I find really helpful when I'm trying to collect resources I'm still shaken from that dog attack. So sorry about that. Um, but something I find really helpful when I'm trying to just collect resources is using the merchants and buying the shipments. Because once you have enough like purified water production, uh, you can be selling that purified water and then use that money to just buy shipments of wood and stuff. But settlements like this that have a lot of wood for scrapping are super useful. Okay. Well, we got rid of the... <laughs> mongrels we'll scrap the car i'm assuming that car never worked i think we can keep the brahmin feed trial we'll scrap these crates and tractor and other car i have no idea how these cars got there i'm going to assume that they were sort of already here but we have the families 
pre-war house. Um, and like a handful of other settlements, we can't scrap the beds that the kids have, but I'm gonna choose to believe that that's purely because the kids would refuse to move. I mean, if you've been here your whole life, I think you'd be very resistant to like being moved when your house is still secure like that. So we have those two new settlers. Uh, I think it makes sense to make one of them a guard and just start setting that up right away, especially because of what just, <laughs> just happened there. So let's go ahead and get a guard post and we'll plop down some guard towers to make a more secure entrance to the settlement. And then we'll probably do a guard barrack, but since the two of them, we had two, oh, that's very much floating. I'll kind of nestle that down here so it's a little more realistic. Since the two of them came together, I want to assume that they're a couple. And so I want them to still be able to live together, which I usually don't do when I do a guard barrack. Oh, that's still floating. When I do a guard barrack, I usually do it as like a single guard. But I think in this case, it might make sense to have it be um, more of a house for the two of them so they can stay together. And I'm just using this to kind of even out this weird landscape that we have. So same thing. Yeah. Actually, let's just keep the one. Let's just keep the one on this side and then we'll do their house right here, which will be a house for two people instead of just a guard barrack. I want to avoid this scraggly little tree that's happening here. Like that. And then is this too high for the stairs? No, that'll work well. So we'll be able to put the two of them here. And usually what I do with my guard barracks, I do that like second level where there can be kind of a lookout. I don't know if that still makes sense to do here if I'm doing it as more of a house. But let's try it because it is a good like entry for the settlement. This wall does feel flat. Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes we just gotta play around. Oh, that's not gonna attach by default, I think. I think we gotta put down the upper floor. Oh, we already got a, an extra person. So that's cool. I'm gonna have to put down another sleeping bag for them. Although we will put some houses in this new bed. There, just real quick. Where are my stairs going? Okay. Yeah, this can definitely still be a lookout location while also being a house. I'm fine with that. And let's slap a door on. Let's do that minute man blue, cause you know I love it. And we can go ahead and do the minute man flag right on that side. Because this is the guard's house, even if it's also going to be a civilian house, too. We got two people living here. I want a fence, but the fence I want is in wood. Just like this. Yeah, to keep it kind of cozy and contained. Hmm. And then I don't think this has to cover the whole thing. Like we could just use regular, um, like a regular roof over the rest of it. Cause you wouldn't want a turret right above your head. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I don't hate that. Let's do this on this side though. And wall off the stairs like this. Mm, this one felt like overkill, but the rest of it feels good. Yeah, and this will be a good place for not structures, but defense and adding some more turrets. Would be good. 
Usually, there we go. Oh, nope, never mind. Scooching. There we go. Ah, okay. Celebrated a bit too soon. And we'll do a chair on top. Because I like giving the guard somewhere to sit when they're on uh, duty like this. And maybe a little table so they can have a beer or something. Uh, I'm looking for the oil lamp because that'll stay lit. I mean, everything will stay lit in the rain, but I'll believe that the oil lamp can really stay lit in the rain. So we'll give them the oil lamp up there. And now let's flesh out the rest of their housing. So I'm thinking this is just like a two person house. We can do shackle here. I don't think we need any of these like half walls. I think we can keep it kind of compact because we really only have, again, it's just a two person house for the first two settlers they got. And I love that they came together. Although I don't know if they're married. I guess I can't assume that. They might just be like brother and sister. So I'll keep the beds separate. A little shelf. Yeah, let's do a shelf there. I do see that these branches are cutting through to whoever gets the bed on the right, but I think they'll be able to figure out how to trim those themselves, so that'll be fine. The person who's a guard, I think the desk would be nice for them, so let's put that back here. Because again, I'm thinking that the, the one of them who is a guard, I think, is going to work mostly out of this area. And then I'm going to find something else for the other one of them to do. We can do a little dresser. And inside, we can do those candles. Which way are the candles? Ooh, let's definitely do a plant down here, too, while I'm here. I'm going the wrong way for the candles, aren't I? They're not that far down. Candles. There we go. I feel like we should cozy it up. Maybe with a... Yeah. A little painting. And then this... The bed on the right that gets the plant in the face looks a little bare, so let's give them a little, a little mat. That's nice. That's cozy. And then for the guard, let's do a little weapon rack there for them. And then I think I just got access to the vault -Tac posters? I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. Let's just scroll and see. Yeah, these just look like the normal posters. Would that be in vault decorations? No. Maybe I don't have those posters. Never mind. We'll have to wait for the next build for that. And then... They should have like a little sitting area, I think. Let's do the chairs on this side for like, not a kitchenette because they don't have a kitchen, but at least a little dining area. I'm assuming that the farm can feed everybody here pretty comfortably because it's a pretty large farm. Can we give them this table? Yeah, that works. Um, but we still want them to have a place to like come back and eat. And then we've got some room on the left here. We could do a cabinet, which could be used by both of them. The guard for 
weapons and stuff and just general storage we're in such a tight space we'll scooch it in nice and cozy and i want something on top of this mm, but maybe more like a desk fan like if i have junk i know i have a ton of junk right now Desk fan, desk fan. Oh, you can see my carry weight. <laughs> carry weight is through the roof. Thank goodness for uh, God mode. <laughs> a desk fan, I think, would be nice here. And let's do the tabletop picture frame. That's going to sink through anything I put it in, isn't it? I guess we'll do that. Oop, not like that, but out of build mode. How do I... Oh, there we go. I forgot the sprint key. <laughs> this is so painful to try and rotate. Oh, come back this way. And then that... Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Perfect. Nailed it. That's lovely. Okay. That's looking really good. Let's see if there's anything we can put on the pistol rack. I think just a regular pistol. That's fine. That'll do. And let's do a welcome mat. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, some cozy little housing for the guard and the second settler we got. So let's grab, I don't know. They've even set up a radio station to coordinate their efforts. Yes, the Is man are back. You might not be happy to have them back, but I am. Is he trash talking the Minutemen? Sir, I'm going to make you a Minuteman right now. That's what's going to happen. I can't believe that you would show up at a Minuteman aligned settlement and then be like, mm, we'll see how long that lasts. Like, sir, I'll, pr I'll prove it to you then. Actually, I'm a little bit mad at him, so I'm going to give him the bed that has the branches sticking out. <laughs> He'll live. He'll be happy to have a nice bed. <sighs> yeah, and guess what? Hope you ain't one of them sins. You're a spy on me. And now he's trash talking sins. I want to trade a few things. This guy sucks. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hold some space for him. He's had a hard life out here in the Commonwealth. <sighs> yeah. Let's give him some armor. My core belief for this playthrough is that once people have their basic needs met, they can support the commonwealth becoming a better place that's what we're doing we're making the commonwealth safer the one settlement at a time and i have to believe that people can help us get there even though a lot of people are going to be starting with these beliefs that the minutemen are gone and nobody can help them and it's every man for himself so we we're going to work to get that guy back on our side okay so now we have that house and i want to do i think a clinic is the next thing that I want to do. And again, locations like this, I just love this shack foundation for. It just, it evens out the terrain. It feels so right. And it just looks so good. I am going to wiggle this whole thing though so we don't have that branch thing happening again. And we'll bring it a little lower to the ground just so the front door makes sense. Uh, and I'm doing my typical T-shaped clinic here because I want to have room for a waiting room and a chem station. Because, again, we are close to the glowing sea, so I want to make sure um, that we can generate stim packs and radix and radaway. And that still included that weird little tree so let's try scooching this again because i really don't mind if it's farther down here 
Like that's, I just wanna make sure we can come up over these um, weird little rocks, huh? Uh, let's see if I can. We just gotta scooch around until things feel right. Let's try and grab the floor piece. That might be easier to move it by. Yeah. Okay, we'll come up over here. How's that feel? We'll be on top of those rocks. That feels pretty pretty good to me. We're dodging all the obstacles, but it's still a well placed kind of to the right of this guardhouse. Yeah. That feels pretty good to me. All right. And now I can't remember if I can place these walls. I might have to um, remove this temporarily. Yeah. It's just the flat wall needs to be done first. Bethesda sometimes, it'll let you build more than you think. You just gotta do it in the order that you, that they want you to, which can be a little tricky to figure out sometimes. Okay, we've got those walls on. Now let's find the little half wall to seal this off properly. Let's grab a door while I'm out here. I always forget the doors are so far away. And do we like red because it's clinic-y or do we like white because it's like clean? I think red, what's this red? It just has the holes in the top. I don't like the holes in the top, so let's do this one. Yeah. And we'll do um, the drug sign that I'm so obsessed with. That's, that's the one. Can I get it to go sideways like this? Oh, I think I can. Yes. That's so cute. Usually we don't get to see it like lined up like that. That's lovely. And I know it's raining. So let's put some roofs on here and get it feeling cozier for us to work inside. This one, I want the high point to face, yeah, the back, because then the other two can kind of meet it. Oh, I got to put more walls down first, though. We'll do this one. And I'm just kind of choosing walls for visual texture here. And before I go too much farther with that, I want to see if we can do uh, the decont decontamination arch outside, but I don't know what that would look like. So I just want to try if I put a shack foundation down. This is kind of experimental, but I like... I like having the decontamination arch, and I don't usually, um, I don't usually use it in these builds because it always like sticks out like such a sore thumb, and that's such a bummer. So I just want to see if there's a way to make it feel more integrated. Is there a way to? I'm gonna kinda do like a half roof. I don't know if that's possible. I'm gonna play around with. Cause that's, that's too tall, I think. But walling off part of it. Right, that's the warehouse wall. Let's 
that's not what I want to do. Hmm. Not going to lie, this is entirely because one of you uh, sent me a very cool screenshot of a warehouse wall kind of being supported by posts and just being out to be like a half support. Um, and it looked really cool. I have no idea how you did that. But I want to see if we can do something kind of similar. Just because it seemed it seemed very neat and it, it suggested outdoor storage well. Ooh, that might be it. I like that. And now that we already have the roof part up, we can go back to the wood set. Oh, I'm in prefabs. Why am I in prefabs? Can we put this thing back now? It's a little weird, but I don't hate it. Let's see what it looks like with a warehouse wall. Oh, I don't think it'll snap. Interesting. I don't think there's anything we can do with that. Let's go back to that wood wall. I'm fine with that. Honestly, it's like a little weird, but it's not terrible. It's not disconnected because that gives us a nice indoor space to put our power generators and keep them covered. Will this fit? That one won't, but this one will. And now that's like a covered generator. That's kind of cool. Now let's see if I can find the decontamination arch, which I haven't been able to find before. Because it's not resources miscellaneous. Is it power miscellaneous? Yes, it is. Excellent. Excellent. OK. Because see, it looks a little out of place because it's so sci-fi. But I like the idea of having like a little generator shack next to the doctors to make that possible. Because if you get exposed to the glowing sea, like you need help right away. So this would be a good place to get that help. And then now that we have some access to power, I wonder how much power we need. Uh, we can't do that one, we can't do that one. But this one would be a good one that I think we could hook up. That needs, okay. If that needs four, and that needs two, that generator al alone isn't enough, correct? Yeah. Um, but we could do a tiny one next to it because the bigger one didn't fit Ooh, or hold up we put this back here and we use this as our bonus source where does this have wires from oh the bottom that's interesting See how this looks, and if I can get that to connect, that's pretty cool. Hold on. I think this might be a little bit overkill for what I'm trying to do, though. And also, if you are the person who sent me the very cool screenshot of the... Um, roof kind of like this on pillars i'm so sorry that i'm not crediting your name in this um i forget what your handle was but thank you for sharing that with me i love it okay that's our nice let's do um like a cabinet or something to help this feel a little more medical and like thought out 
Yeah. I think that's enough. Yeah. Cool. Because now we can go back to doing our clinic. Go ahead and pop the actual clinic down. Oop. I walked right into a corner. That'll work. Let me go ahead and turn on my pit boy light because we are. It's getting dark and it's rainy. And let's see if we can't build out a little privacy for our doctor. Let's do the doctor side on this side because the walls are a little less professional. You know what I mean? Like this side has clean walls, so it'll be easier to do a sink there. But this side has like the shack wall. So it'll make more sense for this to be a, a personal space. And we'll just squeeze in a little bed for them there. Yeah, I'll take that. And we'll give them a candle on top of the bookshelf. Keep that cozy. And we'll give them a little rug coming around to their side. Because again, this is like the doctor's private area. And I love giving them a little. Will this fit if I scooch the bed? I know this is, oop. I know this is tight. We gotta make the most of the space that we have. Yeah, that fits. And then it might make more sense to have the candles on the dresser. Yeah, that's a very, that's a lovely little bedroom. A lovely little doctor bedroom there. Okay, and then on this side, this would be our actual medical side uh, for if somebody in the settlement is feeling sick. So we'll give them the good bed. Because um, again, I'm assuming this is going to be where like radiation poison gets treated. Um, and that's nothing to... That's not something to mess around with. Let's see if we can get a sink or a little cart would be very good here. Yeah. And then if we can do a sink like right on this side. Yes. Perfect. So that gives the doctor somewhere to scrub in and then tend to their patient. Uh, but also drinking water. You know, things can have multiple uses. A win is a win. Okay. We've got the little shelf there. Uh, and then, like I said, I like the idea of having a chemistry station here. Because I'm assuming a lot of people are going to get sick. And we want to be able to support the Minutemen the best we can. And then this is such a good place for signs. I love doing these because so many of the signs are perfect for this, like the biohazard sign. We got hazardous material. If I can get it to stick on the wall behind there. I want it a little lower. Oh, I do not want to grab the entire building. Can I, yeah, that's where I want it. That's really nice. And then let's do some um, rubber flooring. I wish I could scooch it under things that already exist, you know? But I'll take that for now. And then this side, let's do a little waiting room. Let's grab my favorite locker. Lockers are so perfect for, I mean, scrubbing in for the doctor. They need somewhere to put their uh, lab coat. But also for patients who are coming in and need to switch out of their clothes. Um, like that guy who's so skeptical of the Minutemen. Like he's, he's not going to leave his stuff out and about. If he can put his belongings safely in a locker, I think he's a lot more likely to get a checkup. And let's do a nice painting. Something calming. Yeah, that's really lovely. And then I think a little rug would help this section to feel more 
like less threatening. You know what I mean? Oh, do you want to be our doctor? I just need to give you a lab Easy coat first. I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. I think I have a lab coat on me. This is the only... Um, I don't have a lab coat on me. That's fine. What can I give you that would feel... More professional. Okay. Mechanic jumpsuit? I actually don't hate the mechanic jumpsuit. It's a little more like small town doctor. Let's try on some different hats too. Let's try on the wig just because I want to see it on. <laughs> Ooh, let's try on this sweater vest too because that always makes people look smart. We're going to try on some things because I can't do my usual lab coat. Okay, military cap. I don't like it. That makes the um, mechanic jumpsuit look very different in context. Uh, black room glasses. No, I didn't know those were sunglasses. Taking them back. Pompadour wig. It's very funny. I love the pompadour wig. Uh, no. No. I like the I like the jumpsuit better than the other thing. Chilby hat. No. Welding goggles. That's kind of funny, but I don't think so. So maybe we just leave her in the mechanic outfit, which isn't the worst thing. Ooh, are the eyeglasses not shaded? Perfect. I will take, I'll take the eyeglasses. Because I can believe her to, to be somebody who can Got work it. the decontamination arch at the same time. She's handy. She's ready to go. She has no issue getting her hands dirty if she's got to dig into a radiation poisoning case. Um, what I was going to do before she sat down, though, is scooch the rug in. Oop. That's not what I meant to do. Scooch the rug in first and then put the couch over it. So just kind of your feet are enjoying the little rug. Okay, that is a really lovely clinic. Very happy with that. Let's give them uh, like a fire barrel or something out here so people can find this a bit easier. Yeah, I'll take it. So we have the clinic, we have the guardhouse. This person, I know what I want to do with her. Um, and I think she's going to be, she was our first person to arrive. So I think she's the wife of the guard. Let's come over here and I'll show you my vision. Let's do barn. I want to use the barn to sort of uh, spice up the structures that we've got, but I don't love that the concrete fills in uh, so completely. Because uh, like I was just saying, like the, the wood, oh, that does not sit in the ground, does it? There we go. That's a little nicer. Um, the wood foundation is so cool the way it you can sort of see through it. Uh, and this is a little less airy. We can sink this down a little farther. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking for this is this would be a good schoolhouse for the kids. Um, so if we can find a way to assign her to be like the school teacher for them, and then we put some desks in here, I think that'd be really cute. Because we don't want the kids to not have a chance to learn to like read and write. And as I'm saying that, I'm realizing that I bet a lot of people in the Commonwealth don't know how to read or write, which might explain why the handwriting that we do see in the game is so few and far between and very illegible when we do see it. But I'm going to assume 
um, that we were just very lucky to get somebody who was literate uh, right away and she can help teach the kids. It'll also give the kids something. Ooh, no, that isn't the one I want. Oh, did I put that wall on backwards? I definitely did. Hold on. This way. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that really makes my brain hurt sometimes. I'll do that and that. So it'll sort of slant up. Yeah. Put that on there. Put that on there. And then. Hmm. Ooh, that works. Because it, it feels kind of like a schoolhouse, right? Like that. I want more of a lip. Hmm. Do I like this better or the other one? Hmm. This is hard. I think this one. It does, it makes it feel like a, um, <laughs> like a bit of a receding hairline. Oh, I like it better sideways, I think. Do you know what I mean? Like, that just feels kind of blank. But that's okay. Since we have our whole generator set up, I think we can also... Oh, wait. Let's see if there's any... Um, anything we can do with that. Does that help? Yeah, a little. I'll take it. And while I've got it here, let's slap on a door. I don't like that that opens inwards. We've double, double doored it. Hold on. There, that'll work. Um, but since we have the generators so close, I think it would work to, um, what do I want? A connector? To connect him with a power pylon or two so we can have uh, lights in the schoolhouse. Do three feel like overkill or does that feel appropriate? Let's try the bigger ones. Because I think we could get away with two of the bigger ones instead of three little. Yeah, that feels much better. Because if this. We gotta aim it right in there. Oh, there we go. That one to that one. And then we can put this up a little higher, which I think is more realistic as well. That one to that one. Bring that closer and more in line. And now we have electricity in the schoolhouse, which is awesome. Let's do... I love these lights because they just fill a space kind of so completely. Yeah. That's really lovely. It's getting there. Okay. So I think the kids should each have a desk. So we'll do like this and like this to face the teacher, which would be here. And what I'm gonna do for the teacher, bear with me, is use the um I thought I I thought I had access to the um guard desk from the vault set. I guess I did not make it fall far enough in um 
Vault 88 yet to unlock that. But that's going to be what I'm going to do. The guard desk from the Vault Tech set, I think, would go here as a teacher desk. And then we would be able to assign her to that. Let's see if there's anything else assignable in the meantime. I'm going to have to come back and do that once we get um, that officially. Or we'll just let her wander around unassigned for a bit. Dang, that would have been so cool. Just picture it for a second. <laughs> hmm. We could put her here with the barber chair and just pretend, but I don't love that. Siren bell. We could do scavenging station and pretend it's like cubbies. I don't hate that, actually, because that looks like something you would find like in a preschool classroom with like buckets of stuff to sort. Okay. I can work with that for now. Am I crazy or like usually you can use the vault stuff in other locations. Now I think I might be crazy. Oh well. Nothing wrong with pivoting. Ooh. That's cute. Let's do a red one. And a blue one for the kids, for the kids to do their learning. And then I want something that could be like a toy chest. Steamer trunk, I could believe. This feel, I mean, it feels schoolhousey to me. Let's do some decorations. Clock would be important, teaching them how to tell time. This would just be a nice uh, decoration. Colorful things are important for visual learning and keeping kids' attention. Same over here. We'll just continue the motif. Oh, I wonder. I'm just going to try something. Um, though I already didn't get lucky with the guard desk. But I'm wondering if I can put those little letters on top of this weapon rack. <gasps> I can! Okay, there's our win. I'll take that, because check this out. This is where they will learn their ABCs. I won't do all of them. We'll do like a, um, oop. I do want some numbers over here though. We'll do like a cluster, like with the assumption that the pegs can hold the numbers in sort of any order. That maybe the kids can, you know, move these around. Oh, I love this so much. I didn't know that they would go on top of the um, weapons rack like this. Oh, is there anything pre-spelled that would be fun for them? Food. It feels kind of sad to have them spell out food or guns. Mods. Storage. What can we spell for them? That would feel. Hmm. Maybe teacher. Maybe she would teach them how to spell teacher to refer to her. Or just teach. Because uh, I don't want to spell out the entire word. Teach. That's so cute. <gasps> That's so lovely, guys. Okay, this is a really cute classroom. Let's see um, if the rocket ship rug would fit for where the teacher's standing. I don't even mind uh, that the guard desk vision didn't work out because that's adorable. Uh, is there anything else? Because we have power and we're really just using it for lights, but is there anything else that would be like fun for them to have the power. 
Yeah. I'm indifferent to that light. I could do a ceiling fan. That's kind of cute. I guess a lot of these are just lights. Neon feels too much, like too overpowering. But maybe the little um, work wall light out here. Not that. This one, just like by the front door so they can find their way a little easier. That's a really cute schoolhouse, y'all. That's lovely. Okay, let's see if we can find her again. Did this uh, lady... No, she's not in there. I wonder where she is. The guard is still guarding, so that's good. I don't know where our other new settler is, but that's okay. Let's fix up this house while we're here, because this is where the kids live. And they got a lot of just kind of stuff. Stim pack I'll leave. Whiskey I'll store, because the kids should not be in access, or should not have access to that. The beds, again, because we can't really mess with those beds, are going to stay mostly as they are. But I think this section... I think we can replace some of this um, and make this, uh, I mean, the equivalent of what like a mayor's office would be, because I think the father who was here originally, I think that he would become the like de facto mayor of this settlement, because uh, this is his land, and I'm sure he would want to continue like governance and owning of that land. So let's make this his office. Um, and what we've been doing for mayor offices as we set up these settlements around the Commonwealth is thinking about like A, a place for them to do their work, but also for other like leaders of local settlements to come and voice concerns and ask questions and establish better trade deals. So the, I'm going to keep that red chair on the left so people who visit have like a place to chat. Maybe some candles candles on his desk. I forgot I wanted to do a painting in the schoolhouse. But we will come back to that. This, let's get rid of the large pot. And all they eat is corn, which I don't, um, I don't love for them because there's not a ton of variety in corn. And you get sick if you just eat one thing forever. Should we put that same table back? Let's see, there's three of them. Can we fit three seats at this table? I think so. All right, let's see what they've got here. Paint cans I'm going to take. Tin cans. I'm assuming they've eaten the stuff out of it so I can take. I'll put a lot of this back. I just want to let's move this face over to the table. Nope. There. I just want to give them a better like um, cooking setup because currently they can't cook. And I'd like for the main house. Uh, sorry, Preston. I'd like for the main house to be able to cook. So we'll give a cooking stove. Hi, Preston. Where was Preston when we were building outside? Was he just waiting for an inside task? Sounds like it. I'm just going to swap these because this looks like it's going to come out a little farther. So I'd like that to be contained. And then 
cooler. Keep things cold. What chair is that? Can I match it? Yes. All right, three chairs for them. And then what looks better here? Do we like a shelf or a painting? I think shelf. So this is their little kitchen area. And then is there like a entryway table? Like something kind of long. Actually, maybe a dresser would go here and we can pretend it's an entryway table. see how that looks if we just if we just came in I think it has to be more like farther down this wall pressed in yeah I like that because then we can do candles on top of it which I love and maybe a little potted plant that's too big. But this one is cute. And then we'll do a painting on this side. Is it weird to have a picture of a farmhouse in a farmhouse? I think I like it best, so there it goes. A little farmhouse painting, entryway table, kitchen. Should we add a second or a fourth chair um, just in case the dad ever wants company? Not necessarily in a romantic way, but maybe the mayor from another settlement is staying. Okay, that's a nice kitchen area. This feels like it wants to be a sitting area, but there's a lot of stuff this bookcase is broken so I'm gonna scrap it and we'll just find better places for these kids stuff to be metal bucket let's scrap that face is empty that face is empty hmm. let's move the nuka cola to the table and then these are just bottles these would have been useful in our last build with the um, Nuka Cola buddies. Chessboard, I love. I love that they have a chessboard because that feels like a like a good game shelf. Toy truck. Is there room for this truck on this shelf? Okay. Toy car. Put the toy car over here so it's more in reach of the bedroom. And then the um, rocket ship rug I don't think fits in here. And these burnt comics are not readable. So I'll store them and replace them. I think I have some better comics on me. Don't worry, I will not leave the kids without comics. But let's see if we can't get something cozier for them. Let's do a rug first. Come like this. And then maybe the big couch this way. And then I'm already I'm already scrolled too far right. Let's come back. And do I want, yeah, the red. Hmm. Does that close off the space too much or does that divide the space nicely? If I walk back in. No, that divides the space pretty nicely. Because we can do another little bookshelf. Or maybe the repaired tall bookshelf. Here. And then. Is there room for like a coffee table? Mm, I don't want them to have to like scoot around that constantly. 
So maybe we just do an end table with a candle. How much room does this take up? Like that, because I would imagine the kids can like sit on the ground to play a board game if they want. What other decorations do I have? Could another plant go in this corner to kind of liven things up? I think so. Maybe they'll want a radio to listen to during their family game nights. Yeah, that's cute. Let's check the junk. Let's put down, because I destroyed a lot of their old cooking pots. Let's put down a cooking pot and cooking pan that aren't broken. And yeah, a drinking glass or two. And then they had that broken vase, so I'll give them a fixed vase. And then I'm hoping I have like a blast radius game to give them a new one. Yes, I do. I have a few. Because if they have chess, maybe they would like blast radius too. Um, and let's go ahead and give them a baseball glove and a baseball too, because I think the kids would like that. Um, and then I, I took away their comics, and I know I did. So let's give them, yeah, I have a bunch of comics here. So I'll give them some new ones. Yeah, that's much better. Um, will that sit? No, it won't. Preston, I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, Preston. Oh, get down. You are unbelievable. Will that settle? Yeah, that settled. This doesn't seem like it all. I guess you've got your though. reasons, but that just looks like junk. Oh, it looks like junk to you, Preston. You after you. <laughs> Can I drop this? Oh. Okay, we're gonna put the kids' sodas up on the shelf, which I now have to grab by hand because you knocked them over. Oh, and it looks like I got a great garden quest. What am I missing here? Like that. Nope. See, these could have just lived on the table peacefully and then pressed in. How do I spin this around? Maybe I can't. And maybe I shouldn't try. Because <laughs> Preston is going to continue to make this very difficult. Why am I moving so slowly right now? Imagine you're sleeping and two people come into your house. Is that going to settle? I feel like it's not. Two people come into your house and they just start messing stuff up. And one of them climbs on your kitchen table and knocks over your new Coca-Cola. That's you, Preston. You're the one I'm referring to. Why can't I walk fast? Oh, I hit caps lock. We'll put these comics on the shelf. I did exactly what I was just judging Preston for, so maybe I shouldn't talk but we can at least position this better before we leave we'll do the blast radius board game we'll leave that one out like they were just playing it because that's kind of nice and then we'll do the baseball glove and the baseball on the shelf yeah and then we're going to go back into workshop mode to hopefully position this one. Because they had some of these, like, when we came in. Preston, I take you around with me because you make this easier. People like seeing the familiar face of the Minutemen. You can't be knocking over people's stuff, buddy. 
thought there was another Nuka Cola, but maybe not. That's really cute. That'll do for me, honestly. They have some comics, fresh board games, cozy living room, lovely kitchen. That's working for me. Little mares area. Oh, is there a problem with this ceiling, though? I don't think so, but just to be safe, uh, I'm going to see if I can, like, patch, patch some stuff in. Just kind of loosey-goosey. Because maybe I can't, but it really does look like that kid is in the elements, you know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah, right there. You just gotta find the sweet spot. Can we do... I'll take it. I mean, I'll just keep layering stuff. And hopefully it counts as a sheltered bed. It's snapping somewhere. We've definitely covered him. Which is good. Her, not as much. Let's try this one. Hmm. I mean, we did get most of her bed, so I'm not going to complain about it. All right, we'll leave their sleeping area kind of as is, but now they've got a living room, kitchen. Preston, let's get you out of here, bud, because you're kind of like a bull in a china shop right now. Uh, let's give them, real quick, just some better crop diversity, because right now, like they said, all they have is corn. but we can do some carrots. We can do some potatoes, I think would be good for them. I'm just gonna sprinkle these in. And maybe the different variety one too. And I know not all of these will get um, assigned. And I don't want them to be because I hate when the kids have to farm. But it'll at least provide some nice diversity. And then maybe I want a small water pump here for them to be able to water their crops more efficiently. That'll be fine for um, farming purposes. I still don't know where that other person went. That's okay though. There's one more thing I wanna build here because we have guard, schoolhouse, clinic, somewhere for them to eat, I think would be nice. So I'm thinking like a um, warehouse diner on the hill kind of deal. And the ground kind of flattens out up, up here. So I'm just going to start putting stuff down and we'll see. We'll see how much um, like even terrained floor plan I can get. I guess it's going to be kind of annoying for them to have to come up this whole hill whenever they want uh, to eat. So maybe, okay, wait, maybe I move it more towards the front of the settlement. You know, like this. That feels good. Because then they can get at it uh, either way from the house. Let's do some walls and just see where things land. 
like this. And then this would be a nice bar location because you can kind of overlook the whole thing. Like this. And then I want to, in my dream world, we could do a um, separate section in the back. But I don't know how possible that is. I know these plank walls are like the flattest that we have. Hmm. Will this still snap on the other side? I know I usually do the warehouse set for bars, but for the sake of making this more snappable and looking better on the hill, let's do it with the shack. And we can still use those like half wall thingies uh, to overlook the rest of the settlement. So we're just pivoting a little bit here. Also, if I were building this without uh, God Mode on, concrete is hard to find. I was planning on doing like a full fortress once at Starlight Drive-In, um, and I had to keep stopping to go find more concrete, which was so difficult. Okay, like this. They can overlook stuff. Does this feel too big? Where do I want the actual like shop itself to go is the question that I am asking myself. I don't have enough caps for this, do I? Might have to do a little cheap. Because I don't want to pause and go get more things. Don't worry, I have all of the cheats that I need written down uh, on <laughs> these very cramped little pieces of paper for exactly this situation. In case I ran out while I was filming, uh, <laughs> needed to do this. And I'm sorry if that breaks the magic. I think this should give me 10,000 caps. There we go. I hope you can forgive me for so blatantly with the still, violating the spirit of the way. game. Did that fix it? Yeah, that was the issue. But, I mean, see, that that is the nice thing about um, cheats for exactly this situation is I can just keep going uh, and building with y'all. What am I looking for? Food. Why am I not seeing food? Am I crazy? Hold on. Why am I moving slow again? Did I hit caps lock again? Yes, I did. Okay. I don't see food and drink. Do you see food and drink? Am I going crazy? I think the game might be glitching out a little bit, probably because I used a bunch of cheats. Um, let's finish the structure <laughs> of this bar restaurant. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should make this half the size. And like, 
this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I actually, I like this better. We'll do two, like, dining sections. Like, this will be one section, and this will be another section. So we can still have both. It'll just be less blocky this way. And then when I have the food and drink thing back, it'll go like this. You know what I mean? It's really missing. <laughs> Oh no. Wow, and I thought I was so prepared with my little cheat sheets. All right. I want to do one more section here. Is that way too? Oh, it's not even connected. Is that two in the weeds? Maybe. We'll do a half wall. Because this, as promised, I did not forget that I promised a better experience for the adults this time. So this can be their little speakeasy. Keep it walled off so the kids don't think it's for them. And then maybe I'll, I'll put like a high voltage sign or something on it. That feels annoying that they have to walk so close uh, to that bush though. So let's see if I can't scooch this whole thing just a smidge out. Yeah, that's better. And we'll do a full door on this to make it look not interesting. Whereas this one will be a friendly Minuteman Blue. Do you think that the door should go on this side? No, there's too many. Too much shrubbery. That side. just keep the side looking kind of boring. We'll say it's a generator room or something to keep the kids not interested. But this side we'll just do like a very normal friendly diner. And let's grab some seating. I think the diner booths are under chairs and not tables, which I like because then people can like actually sit in them. Yeah. And then I think, can this fit two or just one? Yeah, I think it'll just fit one. So we'll just, it's fighting me to go up to the roof. I don't love that. Cool. Bethesda, I swear to God sometimes. Oh, this one fits really well. Okay, why is the other one being such a jerk then? Huh? Of course it worked with the second one. Something's happening, y'all. I don't know what's happening, but I, I'll tell you what, I don't love it. I scooched that out so I could do the counter behind him because I think that's cute sometimes for holding a little um, radio. City radio over here. 
I'm going to put down um, a different store. <laughs> Just for now, if I don't have food. But just to space out. Yeah, that fits. Okay, good. So this is one seating area. Hmm. Do we want shelves? I would imagine that the person cooking or, you know, somehow providing food needs somewhere to store what's happening. So maybe like this would be good. And that's not really useful to us. But maybe in here would be something useful to us. We can definitely do a little trash can. Does like the um, machine feel too big? Yeah, I think that takes up too much space. Yeah, not really room for that. Maybe we just do more of the diner booth seating over here. Eh, but nobody could really sit there. Let's do one of these for whoever's working at the counter, at least. And then let's do some fun stuff on the wall. Because I think at least like an Edatronic would be fun there. Yeah. Let's do the less rusty one. Trying to think what would be like fun here for uh like a family friendly diner side you know what i mean and maybe posters are the way to go on this side yeah like a coffee and a donut would be a good thing to advertise here and the kids love the blast radius game that i gave them so we'll do blast radius yeah, and then this will be, that's a good, simple diner. Obviously, it's a clothing store right now. Ignore that. As soon as I get that glitch figured out, I will replace it. Uh, and then let's do a generator. I mean, if we're telling the kids this is the generator room, we might as well make it believable. And that way we can have power in these spaces which will be cool yeah that is cool and then here is our speakeasy let me restart this generator there we go that's lovely and then if i had the food and drink store i would do a tiny one like this you know what i mean and so again, I will put this down just for spacing. But the my idea here is that this is adults only speakeasy. So if I grab the counter and I put it in this way, as far as I can get it this way, if I can get some bar stools up against that, I think that'll be beautiful. Bar stools, bar stools. Yeah. This is a really small little. I mean, it's not much. There's not much we can do with it. But we can at least get the liquor sign up here. We'll put an electrical sign front so the kids aren't suspicious restricted area definitely a restricted area adults only and then even over here we can do like a 
tools to make it look less appealing. That's good. Um, but I want the liquor sign. Yeah. Because this side will sell liquors. Why is this fighting me? There we go. And then this might be a really good place to use a disco ball. Since we've never gotten to use it before. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's that's wonderful. Okay. So we got disco ball, we got liquors. This will be a bar once I figure out what's going on. We got a little counter. Is there anything I can put on this wall? Is there a more adult poster, perhaps? Gotta scroll through to the flat ones because I think they look better. I mean, cigarettes. Cigarettes are adult. Silver Shroud could be adult. What's this? No, that's definitely... Communism poster. Like, I, I could see it being an anti-communism poster and having the vibe of the bar be very, um, like, kind of the world is ending, drink yourself stupid. But I actually think something like the Silver Shroud, which maybe the kids think is, like, so uncool, but feels like a fun throwback for the adults. Like, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and we will make sure to shut that door. That's lovely, our little secret speakeasy back here. I love that. Okay, I think that's all I really want to do in this settlement. Um, oh, we've got her. We've. Hi, you're our school teacher. So let me grab you and assign you to that scavenging station. That'll at least keep her nearby. Kids are still farming. Yeah. Don't talk to me about this teal base. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> nobody, nobody. I got your back, no matter what. Thank you, Preston. I might kill you, though, just because of this. If anybody comments about how bad my placement is of this vase, don't. Preston, if you knock over that vase, I swear to God, I will take your little hat and I will feed it to you piece by piece. Okay. Um, I gotta remember that the title of this video is a cozy build. And so I probably shouldn't threaten Preston, but if you've watched this far, I think you understand how I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I think we can go ahead and, and do our little tour. We are ready to do our full tour of Somerville Place. Somerville Place, again, is a tiny little settlement here in the south of the Commonwealth, right against the border of the Glowing Sea. Uh, so we have a very nice clinic built out to handle any type of radiation sickness that you could come in with. So you enter the settlement here. We have one guard, a Minuteman, of course. He was a reluctant recruit, um, but he's warming up to the idea, and this is where he lives. Uh, he has a desk for working on his scheduling. He is the only guard here 
at the settlement. It's a small settlement, but he still takes it very seriously. And this is where he lives uh, with his traveling companion. We haven't been able to discern their relationship, um, but she works a few doors down at the schoolhouse, which we will get to next. Here is our clinic. And like I said, uh, this settlement is right on the edge of the glowing sea. So we take uh, sickness here very, very seriously. We have a uh, chem station to be able to generate some of our own stim packs right away. It has a small waiting area. Uh, this here is our doctor. If you need it. Uh, we don't need it right now, but thank you so much for offering. Um, we have her little clinical setup here. So there's a scrubbing station and medical bed. Nope. Not now. Let me I'm know good. if that changes. Thanks. Excuse me. Uh, and then back here, if Preston will let me slip through, is her little personal uh, area. So she's got some candles, some shelves for her personal effects, that sort of thing. Uh, right next door, this is kind of an extension of the clinic because our doctor still runs this section. But this is where we have our generators and they're kept safe and dry under here. This is where we have our generators and our decontamination arch, which, like I mentioned, very important uh, for a settlement that's so close to the glowing sea. Of course, next door, uh, we are using that generator power to also power our water pumps uh, and string some power along to our schoolhouse, which is the next thing we can look at here. This is the schoolhouse because this settlement does have two small kids. Kids. Uh, so these kids do come here to go to school. This is their uh, teacher who's working right now on the cubbies. Um, they have this small board to learn their letters and their numbers. Uh, they have some colorful things here, a little toy chest. And of course, uh, their teacher works here full time, making sure that they can learn and become as literate as is possible in the post-apocalyptic fallout landscape. Uh, this house is pre-war. These are our three original settlers here that are working in the farm. This house is pre-war. Uh, the father, he's a single father. Um, he is available, ladies uh, or men. I don't know what he's into. Uh, but this is their pre-war house. He is now the mayor of the settlement. So this little section here, this is his desk for dealing with his mayoral, mayoral duties. Um, if other settlement leaders come in for a chat, they can join him here. Uh, there's a small kitchen area, dining area for him and his kids. Uh, their beds uh, situation relatively untouched since uh, before the Minuteman take, took over, but that's how they wanted it. We have done some patching in the roof to make sure they're not sleeping in the rain. Uh, and we did build this lovely little... Uh, um, uh, living room, thank you, living room for them with some board games and some extra comics for the kids. Uh, their farm, pretty, pretty untouched, uh, but we did add some more crop diversity for them, both for soil health and for their health. And then up here, oh, don't look at that mongrel. Up here, we have a diner. Uh, so this diner is, ignore the fact that it says clothing. That's a bug. We're going to fix that later. Uh, but this diner is a very family-friendly diner. Uh, this is where the kids and their dad can come, and also the school teacher and the guard and the uh, clinician. Uh, they can eat. They can look over the rest of the settlement, keep an eye on things. Uh, very cozy, family-friendly, fun. Again, the kids love Blast Radius. Uh, and then next door here, if you ask the kids, they'll tell you this is the generator room. But what it really is, is a secret speakeasy for an adult. So we have a disco ball, liquor sign. And again, don't know why the bars aren't loading right now. We're going to fix that later. Don't worry about it. Uh, but that concludes Somerville Place. Again, it's a tiny little settlement. Very nice. Very cozy place to be if you're a dad and some kids. Very safe place to be. That about does it for us here at Somerville Place. Again, it's a very cozy, small, uh, unassuming settlement, which is important too because we want to kind of keep a low profile for having kids here at the settlement. We don't want to make this a giant trading hub. That about does it for us at the Minutemen. Thank you so much for joining me today as we work to make the Commonwealth safer one settlement at a time. I have a playlist of all the builds that I've done so far, so please do check that out if you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what you liked, what you hated. That bug with the bars was very annoying. Don't know what that was. We'll get it figured out for next time. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope, as always, you have a lovely day, and I will see you next week.